Mike Before Life here, and today we're going to be showing you how to edit extremely fast on Adobe Premiere Pro, and we're going to be doing editing to the music. And when you edit to the beat, it just brings a whole other level to your video editing skills. So if that interests you, stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you want to open a new project, obviously, in your Premiere Pro. Um, we're just going to title it Fast, because we're going to be doing fast editing. Um, I use the uh, GPU acceleration, which just helps render a little bit faster, depending on what kind of graphics card you have in that mumbo jumbo. So what we're going to do is uh, make sure editing is clicked, and this is where we're going to actually import all of our um, media. So if you don't know how to do that, uh, I don't know what to tell you, but it's pretty simple. I'll show you how to do it right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have a, a music file already saved, labeled fast edit. So I'm going to drag that into the into there, and then I'm going to go back, and then I'm going to go here, and then this folder I already have some videos pre-selected, so I'm just going to drag all those videos in there. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is actually uh, drag the sound file onto your um, timeline and we're going to make it a little bit longer okay it's only a 22 second video or 20 second video okay so you're going to want to make sure that your um, keyboard it has the m key set to markers if you don't know if you don't know if it is set like that uh, you go to edit you click on keyboard shortcuts and do you see where it says here if you don't have it already you click that hit m and it adds the M to your ad markers, so just make sure that's on there, um, or you know which key is your uh, marker key. So first, thing we're going to do is we're just going to actually um, play this clip through and get a little get a little listen to it, because every time you hear a beat drop where you want to cut in the, uh, where you want it to transition from one clip to another clip, that's where you're going to hit the M key. Uh, so you got to really listen, and, and it's got to be pretty much on beat. So if you have no rhythm, this might not work for you. But we're just going to go ahead and play this song real quick and. We're going to just in our head decide where we're going to put the uh, markers. And every time you hit the M key, it's going to add a marker. Okay. So I got an idea. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. And now I'm going to start adding the markers. Now you're going to just be very precise. You have to be very on with this. So you ready? Here we go. Okay, so that's it. So we added a marker here, here, and, and so on. And now what we need to do is we actually need to um, mess with the videos we have over here. So you have to set a start point and a stop point for the video. So do that um, left click on the video, double click it. And this right here is where you can, you can just make your start point. So the start point, we're gonna actually hit uh, I, which is where the video will start. And then we're gonna drag what clip where we want it to end. We'll do about right here and hit O. Now what that does, it only is gonna put this part of the video into the uh, timeline when you, for the next step. So we're gonna do that to all these videos. So let me go to this one. And make sure it's long enough, because if it's not as long as the uh, time in between these two markers, this is not gonna work for you. Uh, the rule of thumb I like to do is always have my videos be at least, uh, my fit, at least four seconds long. Okay, so now that I have all the videos marked, um, how many videos can we actually fit in here? In here, we can fit um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're gonna go ahead and select twelve videos, and to do that, you just hold down the um, control key and you hit, just click on it. One, two, three, four, five. So now what we need to do is make sure that we have all the uh, timeline or all the media selected and the blue line is all the way to the left and then we go up to uh, clip and you go on down to automate to sequence okay so we click that now make sure it's the placement is not sequential but at unnumbered markers and that's what we put in the green lines or the unnumbered markers and we only want to put the video in we don't want to put the audio so make sure it says ignore audio is selected because obviously the audio is going to be the music 
and then when you hit OK, it's going to put them all onto your timeline where there are markers. So let's just go ahead and play this for you real quick and you'll see that it's really cool um, how, how it looks when you play to the beat. Again, this could probably take you maybe six minutes and you have a sweet Instagram clip or you have a sweet intro to your YouTube video. Um, it just makes it really simple because you don't have to literally sit here and cut, uh, delete, cut, delete, cut, delete, and keep playing. And as long as you hit the, put the markers in the right spots and you have these videos marked where you want them to start and stop, it's going to make an amazing video. So, okay, so I hope you like that video and I hope it helped you <clears throat> and if you want to see more videos like this please comment below and let me know what you want me to, to do in Premiere for you or even Photoshop because I'm here to help you um, this is the kind of help that I wish I had when I started using these programs so <clears throat> once again from uh, 614 Life peace and you're welcome